Well, see, as an animator and a f maker of animated films, and as a maker of stop motion animated films, um, this is a name of incredible sort of power because he's such a big figure in our world. You know, um, a completely admirable figure, faintly kind of faintly kind of alarming because you know he's a because he's he's like this this. God of puppet animation, but um, hugely admired, hugely admired. <laughs> Jan Schwankmeyer has been making films for like 60 years or something like that, and I think uh, he is reaching probably the end of his filmmaking career because it's a, you know it's an amazing career. Animation takes a lot out of you. Um, I don't suppose there'll be another film after this, and if it doesn't get made. That would be like a tragedy, I think. This, this film should be made, insects should be made. Um, and I think, I love the idea, in fact, that the people that care about his work, the people that care about animation can sort of join in. I mean, that's why I'm a big, fun, a big fan of crowdfunding anyway. Like, it's great, I think it's, it's a terrific idea. It's, it's, we, we, we prove what we love, you know, by, by, by committing to it. And so rather than people just standing around and saying, oh yeah, he's a big deal, you can actually get involved, which I think is lovely. So today, I'm standing at the Annecy Animation Festival in France, um, where I've been many times over the years. But the first time I came here was in 1983. And that year, there was one film that just blew everybody away. And that was Dimensions of Dialogue, which was Jan Schwankmeyer's film. Uh, so I was in that audience. I had, hadn't heard of him before. In fact, quite a lot of people in the West didn't know much about him anyway then. And here's this film, which was absolutely astonishing. You know, like so witty, you know, dramatic, visually dramatic, kind of horrifying, but, fun, but funny. That's what's so great about him, actually. Like... There's a great vein of comedy that runs through his work. So anyway, Dimensions of Dialogue um, has all kinds of most extraordinary puppet animation taking place, including some great stuff with food, which really makes you kind of you know, wince, and, uh, and also some amazing stuff with clay. And of course, we at Arbman like working in clay. So seeing uh, Jan's work in clay... Uh, was a marvel to me, absolute marvel. I'd never seen anything like it, and never have since really, except his other films. Because we make puppet animation, and because we work in clay, it, you, know, you might sort of establish a line between what Jan Schwankmeier has done and what we do at Arban. I think, in truth, it's a fairly thin line, you know, I think anyone in animation that's got their eyes open and their brain open should be influenced by Jan Schwankmeier to some extent. You know, um, he is absolutely a surrealist in in the great Czech tradition. Absolutely, um, uh, he's proud of it. I, I know, uh, and I guess we are men are not surrealists. We can't, no, we just, we just aren't. Um, but there is, there will be some influence. Even so, you know, having seen a film like Dimensions of Dialogue. Or that other amazing one, which I think is called Light to Darkness Light, where uh, uh, a human body forms before your eyes in a room, in clay again. Having seen those, you can't help but be influenced in some way. Because there's, there's a very special um, tone to the way he animates. That's hard to describe, I know. but, but the, Or to the way his animators animate, actually, because he's, he's the director. Somebody else does the animation. But... Um, there's, there's a tone to it, there's a style, there's a feeling, which is magnificent. In Light, Darkness, Light, the, the, there's, there's a human head, which I guess must be full size. And, and it's quite, you know, it's, it looks okay, it's, it's just in grey clay. And then suddenly, this incredible tongue comes writhing into shot. And it's, it's real, it's from the butcher's shop. And, um, and these teeth form in the head and it is the most astonishing image like it like it's an amazing image and that's what that's what he has done you know all of the all down the years it's produced these absolutely arresting images that stick in your brain i 
I think with films like like Jan's films, I've said they're surrealist, which they are. Um, sometimes the narratives are mysterious, but they're meant to be. That's what he, that, that's the guy he is, you know. Uh, although sometimes I must say extremely clear. And there's a lot of um, emotion in what he does that comes across to anyone. So I think that anyone can follow, you know, an emotional thread. And as I say, people can be charmed by it. Don't, don't be frightened of him. I mean, I kind of was as a young man, as a young animator. This guy was, like I say, like an animation god. I was scared of him. There's no need to be because the films are full of, of weird humour. And if you like, if you like weird humour, then it's perfect. You know, absolutely perfect. So I, very, I think really quite accessible, providing you're prepared to go along for the ride. You know, and follow and follow his lead. <laughs> If I was an insect, ooh, I, I, I think I would go for the cute side of things. I think I would be like a ladybug. I think that would suit me. You know, I think bright colours. I like the little walk, you know, little, do, 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 little cute little walk because I, you know, I, nothing too violent, nothing, nothing too, nothing too, you know, nothing spidery. Don't go there. No way. No way. So I think a ladybug would be fine and pretty and charming. <laughs>